I am terrified of getting out of my car. Like I drive a BMW, not that it's like super high class, but I swear to you right now, <laughs> it's like, I don't mean this to be like racist, but okay, well, it's going to come out racist anyways, but there's just these six really scary looking guys. And I think they'd be scary whether they were white or black, but, um, I mean, I love black men. I have many relations with black men, but these black men look like they kill me. So, and motherfuckers gonna be mad at her. That girl ain't said nothing wrong. This girl ain't said nothing wrong. Press one, man. Well, this except girl, for the up speak. What's that? The it's uh elevating the last syllable of every phrase or every word you know uh it's to make you sound apparently more intelligent and it just makes you sound more stupid <laughs> oh this girl ain't said nothing wrong everybody in the motherfucking world know you see six niggas and you in a bmw you you ain't you don't want to get out man they gonna try to carjack your ass man Ain't no way. That girl ain't said nothing wrong, man. That girl ain't said nothing wrong. I stand with Trisha Paytas, man. She ain't said a motherfucking thing wrong. I am terrified of getting out of my car. Like, I drive a BMW, not that it's like super high class, but I swear to you right now, <laughs> It's like, I don't mean this to be like racist, but okay, well, it's going to come out racist anyways, but there's just these six really scary looking guys. And I think they'd be scary whether they were white or black, but, um, I mean, I love black men. I have many relations with black men, but these black men look like they kill me. So I'm just hoping my sister makes it out alive. I'm a terrible sister because I did not go in with her. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with what that woman said. That woman ain't say a motherfucking thing wrong. They gonna try to cancel, well, whatever, not cancel, but black people gonna fucking harass her and shit online and shit. A tragic start to the Mother's Day weekend as two families now losing two lives. Two women were gunned down in Treme as they were leaving a restaurant and bar early this morning. And now new surveillance video gives us further insight into exactly what happened. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor joins us live from the intersection of North Claiborne Avenue and St. Philip, where everything went down. Shay. Travis, we want to warn you that we did obtain some very graphic and nice. disturbing video of the shooting. We're going to show you part of the video and then also you will see some gunfire. So I just wanted to warn you about that on your screen right now. You should see four women walking down North Claiborne Avenue. Witnesses tell me that they were leaving from the hookah joint. It's a party catering to 2023 graduates. That that's what was going on last night. Then you see a gunman run from the corner at St. Philip shooting. The gunman runs behind the women. One woman falls. Damn, that dude brazen. Like, look at that shit, man. They should have they should have profiled these niggas like Trisha Paytas, man. Look at them walking. They definitely being targeted. Look at his ass. He runs up and shoots right at them they're right here he's shooting this ain't no fucking um crossfire shit i don't think so party catering to 2023 graduates that what that's what was going on last night then you see a gunman run from the corner at st philip shooting the gunman runs behind the women one woman falls and we will not show you what happened from there the next video show you know why they can't show you what happened can anybody in the chat tell me why they can't show you what happened next? Because their heads exploded and they bled out all over the ground? Nah, man. I'm going to see if somebody in the chat can tell me why they can't show you what happened next. It's because he stood over. There you go, laughing dog. He stood over. He stood over. That's probably that's why that's probably why they can't show you. Look at him running towards them. Philip shooting. 
The gunman runs behind the women. One woman falls and we will not show you what happened from there. The next video shows a different angle. The women walking from the business before people are seen running after the gunfire erupts. A man and his wife actually heard the gunfire this morning while in bed. They tell me they immediately hit the floor. Their neighbors, hours later, they finally realized what had happened. I'm sorry to hear that about the young ladies because we went to help her friend. Me and my wife went down to help her friend, a lady who was with her. And, you know, that was the one in the white Jeep and she was crying and she said she just left and went outside. And right now you're looking at a growing memorial of the outside of the business. Why they always say grow a memorial, man? <laughs> it's a bad thing to shit. I guess it's growing. I mean, shit. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, shit, they ain't killed by no white people, man. I don't know if it's going to grow any. If you don't get killed by white people, man, this is what your memorial will look like. Remember the one where that lady had that one bad, that pregnant lady got shot by them fucking sun teens and shit? I think that was Baton Rouge. She got shot by them sun teens. She was nine months pregnant, and they was they um mistaken identity. She wrote, she pulled up in her car in the apartment complex and they thought it was the ops and they shot her and killed her and she had one little teeny little murder bear <laughs> yeah the bear was like this big one little bear man <laughs> let's see how many they got these this woman she got one two she got a couple candles one two three three candles and uh, some balloons she, she this girl doing good man where the two women were before the shooting. We have been seeing people coming all day, just bringing balloons and candles. People who were inside of the business when it all happened, they say that the women were having a good time before they left. They say there was no altercation beforehand, but of course we are working to find out more information. And in the meantime, if you do have any information about the shooting, you're being urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 822-11. If y'all got any information, man, make sure y'all call Crime Stoppers, man. 11 reporting live from Treme Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. Just a sad story, Shay. Thank you so much. We'll see you right back here at five o'clock. And Warland City Council Vice. Why the fuck do he sound like that, man? man why the fuck you sound like that, man? What the fuck wrong with this guy, man? WDSU News. Just a sad story, Shay. Thank you so much. We'll see you right back here at five o'clock. And Warland City Council Vice President Helena Moreno is responding to the city's most recent crime. She says the number of women murdered in New Orleans hasn't been this high since 1996 when we had- The number of women murdered in New Orleans hasn't been this high since 1996. That was the year I graduated high school, man. 96. Damn, that was a long motherfucking time ago. And you know what they should say? They should say black women, man, because these black women, man, these ain't Karens, man. These black women getting smoked, man. Shanique was, man. Vice President Helena Moreno is responding to the city's most recent crime. She says the number of women murdered in New Orleans hasn't been this high since 1996 when we had 70,000 more women living in the city. And a state. When they I'm had middle school, 70,000 more women. In 96, they had 70,000 more women living in the city. So they got 70,000 less women and just as many women getting murdered as 96, the record. Hey, listen, man. They asked for this. Since black women asked for this, I got to salute the, 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 I got to salute the, 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 the sun, sun team gremlins and the sun, the sun man, thugs man. Usually when sister asks for something, she don't get it. <laughs> Ain't that crazy, sister? You ask that nigga to marry you, he won't marry you. You ask me to get a job, he won't get a job. <laughs> Y'all ask for them to be freed from jail. You ask for all the criminals to be freed from jail. And son, son, me gave you what you asked for. <laughs> you got what you asked for this time, sister. <laughs> Press I, I wonder what the population of Sun Sisters uh, versus it, what, what it was in 96. 
What do you mean? Are there more Sun Sisters? It's a now, black city, man. It... it was seventy less, seventy thousand less women then in the city now than it was in ninety six. And it's a Sun City, man. It's always been a Sun City. Some more women living in the city. In a statement, she says, "Quote: We are significantly ramping up support." for domestic violence survivors in coordination with the health department. But we must also strongly go after anyone prohibited from having a firearm, including felons and those with domestic violence charges and convictions. Some tragic news now.